The Night the Mountains Glowed Blue, 2006, Dolomite Alps, Italy. They say the mountains sleep at night, but on one strange evening in 2006, the Dolomite Alps opened their eyes, and they glowed, bright, electric blue. It began just after sunset, when the last traces of daylight slipped behind the jagged limestone peaks. The air was cold enough to sting, the kind of alpine night where sound travels far and every footstep echoes like a drum. A small group of hikers had set up camp in a quiet valley, expecting nothing more than a peaceful evening under the stars. But then, a soft flicker appeared on the mountainside. At first, it looked like moonlight, except the moon hadn't risen yet. One of the hikers pointed upward. Another stood frozen, listening as if the silence itself were trying to warn them. The flicker brightened, stretching like veins of light across the cliff face. And then the impossible happened. The entire mountain began to glow, not white, not silver, but a deep otherworldly blue, so vivid it painted the snowfields, drenched the trees, and cast long shadows that looked like ripples across the ground. For a moment, no one spoke. It felt as if the world had paused, like the earth itself was holding its breath. The hikers scrambled out of their tents, mesmerized. Cameras shook in trembling hands. The blue radiance shifted and pulsed, as though the mountain were alive, breathing, waking, remembering something ancient buried within its stone heart. Some later described it as the glow of bioluminescent waves frozen into rock. Others insisted it felt like standing in front of a giant silent storm. But those who witnessed it firsthand said the same thing. There was a strange humming calm in the air, a low vibration you could feel in your bones. Scientists would eventually attribute the phenomenon to a rare mineral reaction specific quartz and calcite deposits exposed after years of erosion, suddenly activated by an unexpected combination of temperature, moisture, and atmospheric charge. A one in a million alignment of nature that triggered the mountains to radiate blue light for just a few minutes. The hikers didn't know any of that. All they knew was awe. They watched as the glow intensified, reaching a peak so bright it felt like standing at the edge of a frozen aurora, and then, just as quietly as it began, the light faded, the mountains dimmed, the valley returned to darkness, and the only proof the moment had existed at all was the sound of their own breathing and the lingering sense that they had seen something they were never meant to see. To this day, the glowing mountains of 2006 remain one of the Alps' most mysterious natural events, unrepeatable, unpredictable, unforgettable. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow.